Hey guys, AJ here back with another one for you. So guys, on YouTube, I have a whole playlist of chicks who you shouldn't date, right? So for instance, single moms. I mean, come on. That's self-explanatory, right? <laughs> but guys, don't date military chicks. Don't date psych chicks. Don't date hairstylists. Don't date lawyers. Don't date nerd, nerd and nurses. And guys, certainly don't date police chicks. Because guys, they have, they have the biggest gang in the city that they, they can call on you when you break up with them, right? And guys, I was thinking, because I saw this article right here. So nail salon technicians in inhale 10 times more chemicals than e-waste wor workers, right? And guys, yes, the people that are nail techs inhale this toxic stuff, but nail techs are just as crazy to date too. They're just plain toxic. And guys, between the chicks doing the nails being crazy and to toxic and the chicks getting their nails done being crazy and toxic. Guys, don't date any chick that does the nails or has the nails, right? So guys, we're gonna get it into this and we're gonna go to TikTok. But before we do, like, subscribe, drop a comment because it really helps keep this channel going, guys. Check out the playlist on U YouTube. And yeah, guys, uh, yeah, look at this. So for a lot of pe people, Visiting the nail salon for a manicure and pedicure is about treating themselves or cheap but still luxurious pampering. A group of researchers from University of Toronto found that nail salon workers' exposure to these chemicals was 30 times higher compared to exposure within households for everyday products. Look at that. Look at that. So not only are you dating some broad that has all the negative aspects of a of a hair stylist, but she's also getting poisoned. You know what I'm saying? Now guys, let's just go to the dumpster fire known as TikTok and see what some of these knuckleheads have to say about nail techs, right? Or getting nails done. So a little bit of background here, guys. So this chick's a nail tech and she accidentally put nail glue in her eye because she thought it was her eye drops, clown world. How dumb do you have to be to mistake super glue for nails for your eye drops? And now she's in the hospital. Look at that. Be okay. She's getting her eye flushed out. She's gonna be okay, mom. Be okay, mommy. She had an accident. <laughs> accident. Yeah, mommy had an accident. Fainty, oh my gosh. Fainty, oh my gosh. You always feel like that. Mm-hmm. You're good. I'm glad you're doing really good. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Mommy put nail glue in her eyes, so they flushing it out. Look at that. You see it? Yeah. You see the water? Yeah. Look at that, guys. Got to get her vision checked. She, she could possibly go blind. All that over some nails. An uh, IV bag, basically. It's like an IV bag of liquid. And they just put it in the water. Flush your eye out. Okay. Look at that, guys. And for what? Um, just a saline solution or something like that. And a big hospital bill. Look at that, dude. Look at that. And guys, there are hashtags. Uh, hashtag emergency. Hashtag Memphis. Hashtag moms of, of TikTok. Hashtag accident. Hashtag nails. Hashtag nail art videos. Hashtag nail art. Hashtag nails of TikTok. Hashtag nail tech. tech. Hashtag nail tutorial. Hashtag nail salon. Hashtag nail glue. Hashtag accident. Hashtag moms over 30. Hashtag mom. Hashtag moms of TikTok. Hashtag babies of TikTok. Hashtag cute. Hashtag love. Hashtag beautiful. Hashtag a grown woman. Please. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And I hope that that wasn't her husband who was filming this whole thing with a like, yeah, man, mom who had an accident. Beta. Right? Dude, run. Run fast and far, clown world. Today I decided that I wanted to quit being a nail tech. Lately I've been feeling like I put so much time into my business just for it to start going downhill. A lot of my clients have been coming back to me very upset, saying that they didn't like their nails, that they haven't been getting compliments, and that the service wasn't what they expected it to be. Gee, could it be because 304s are 304s? 
304s treat everyone like trash. I think there's, there's a couple ways that women could actually see how horrible ch chicks are. One, date them. Two, have their brother, their their dad, or whatever get screwed over by one. And three, cater to them as a biz business, right? <laughs> On top of that, I just feel like I haven't been getting many appointments and that many people have been saying bad things about my services. To keep enhancing my business, I've offered new services and items for my clients, but they still rejected them. This shift in my business has really caused me to think about all the time and effort that I placed into this, including my clients, has really felt like a waste. I truthfully do love doing nails, but it seems like sometimes my clients don't love it as much as I do. I also feel like running sales and doing discounts on many of my services have caused clients to take advantage of me and my services. You mean 304 is taking advantage of people? People, You don't say! <laughs> also, many of my clients have not been following a lot of my rules and regulations that I've been placing out and don't seem to be taking a lot of the things I say and do seriously. And it seems that when I've been enforcing these rules, many of the clients are not happy and they tend to not return back. I started doing nails back when I was in middle school and I'm currently That's in college. Any time. Of course. She says, look, guys, can you not be late? Can you, can you not, you know, bring your, your eight kids? Right? She has rules and bound boundaries. So what do these chicks say? How dare you? Right? <laughs> so I feel as if right now, maybe it's the end of an era for me to stop doing nails and hand the brush over to someone else. Hopefully in the future, I can start doing nails again and continue my art. But if you follow me and you like my videos, you guys will understand that this video is just a joke and I will never quit doing nails. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So guys, she's jo joking, but she's not, right? Because guys, there's tons of videos actually saying what she's saying about how, t how toxic these chicks are, right? So, so she'll stop. I mean, so she might not stop doing nails but guys you know her customers treat her like trash and guys any chick that walks around with nails like like, like this guys come on would you honestly talk to seriously you guys are hashtags hashtag nail tech hashtag nails hashtag nails art videos hashtag grown one grown woman right and guys this is once again this narrative this i am woman hear me roar in numbers too big to ignore like all chicks just are coon by by uh and like friggin share tampons and stuff it isn't true they treat each other like trash clown world i used to be a full-time nail tech and i quit i'm gonna tell you why First of all, I just want to talk about how concerning it is, how insecure my clients would feel when they didn't have their nails done or they weren't up to their standard. Look at that. If something had happened to their nails or they couldn't get in on the time frame that they wanted to, it was a serious issue. So guys, let's pump the brakes right there. She said how insecure her clients would feel if they didn't get their nails done. Now, guys, this is proof that these 304s don't give a damn what guys think. Because, guys, how many guys are like, oh, man, she ain't got her, her nail done, dog. I ain't gonna smash. Please. <laughs> Please. It's because girls do stuff for other women. That's why they wear this, this clown makeup. That's why they have these crazy nails, all these piercings, these stupid tat tattoos. It's not for us guys. It's for each other. Even this chick. Look at this freaking bull ring and this piercing on the side of her cheek. I realized a lot of my clients relied heavily on having their nails done for their self-esteem. Look at that. And I felt like I was almost enabling that. I think I go to the gym. One of my biggest things for myself is that I need to love myself in every single form. Like whether my nails are done or not. Whether my makeup's done or not, whether my hair is done or not, whether I'm dressed nicely, whether I look like a bum, like I still need to love myself and accept myself and see the value in me. It didn't make me feel good to see my clients so insecure when their nails weren't done or if they were grown out or looking ratchet or whatever. They would literally talk about how they hated their hands. They would literally talk about how ugly they think their hands are how insecure they are about their hands and then once i do them it makes it all better why is this chick eating in her videos guys i hate when people eat in their videos please yuck and i'm so glad that i was able to make them feel good in that way 
Um, but it really broke my heart that they didn't value their hands without them, their nails being done. You mean these three or fours? They base their val- value on some trivial BS that costs m- money? Yeah, just like a woman. <laughs> Your hands do a lot for you, and they do and deserve they a lot of love, whether they're all done up or not. I feel like sometimes the beauty industry, because I am a cosmetologist, can enable women are. to not feel feminine or like they're enough without getting enhancements done to them whether it's their eyelashes their nails their hair now all i'm all about self-care and i realize that some women use getting their nails their hair and their lashes done all that kind of stuff for their self-care time i totally get that but i think there's better ways of doing it without using chemicals to alter yourself or putting chemicals on your body that go near your mouth and I think we need to self-care better. I know there's all these quote-unquote healthy nail options, but trust me, I tried to find healthy nail options. Even in the healthiest nail options, there are still very, very, very harmful chemicals. Even in just your generic polish. Acetone, nail polish remover, all of these simple ingredients come up as hazardous to your health. I just genuinely felt like I was doing more people a disservice than I was helping them. After learning all of this information about nail product, I didn't even want to have mine done. And I don't. I keep mine bare and I just take care of them and I manicure them and I love that self-care ritual for me. But if this is something I didn't even want to do to myself, how could I feel ethically sound selling a service that is hazardous to someone's health and kind of their mental health too. She honestly thinks that these 304s are gonna care, right? Please. Man, it took me so long to quit because I genuinely did, I genuinely did really like my job. Stop eating for Christ's sake. (gasps) Really evaluating my life, it just didn't fall into line with my values and my ethical code. Not only was it not sustainable and not good for the environment, but it was not good for my clients. And I care about my clients, even though I abandoned them. I still love you guys. All that being said, I still really love my nails. And I still keep a nail care routine. They need done right now, so don't judge them. Um, And I think you guys should keep a nail care routine too. Whether you're going to the salon to get manicures without any like polish or enhancements or anything like that. And just taking care of your actual nail or whether you're doing it at home, I definitely think we should take care of every single part of our body. Um, And this is just my perspective. So y'all do you, but this is me. And these are my thoughts coming from an ex-nail tech. Isn't that funny how they still can't take a a definitive stance? So y'all do you, so you just completely um, circumvented everything you just said. Well, don't you don't have to listen to me. But instead of whereas guys say, look, don't do this, guys. It's bad for you. You are a moron if you do, right? Come on. Guys, there are hashtags. Hashtag nail tech. Hashtag nails. Hashtag nail talk. Hashtag nails of TikTok. Hashtag nail technician. Hashtag quit my job. Hashtag eco-friendly. Hashtag sustainability. Hashtag well wellness. Hashtag intentional living. Hashtag eco-friendly living. Hashtag low waste. Hashtag consumerism. Hashtag environmentalist. Hashtag toxic consumer culture. Look at that. Fat, guys. These nails are just dumb. It's a litmus test. Any chick who has those those nails or, done, or do, does those nails is a moron. Clown world. I told you guys. I told you. The whole nail thing is absolute clown world. And guys, plus, they're, they're exposing themselves to all types of foolishness. Look at that. Look, unexpectedly high levels of flame, of flame retardants. Look at that. Flame retardants are shown to cause cancer, hormone disruption, and neurological damage. They're infamous for accumulating in the body over long periods of time. This can give diabetes and reproductive health and thyroid problems. Look at that. Look at that, man. The Canadian... 
Environmental protection banned the use of one plasticizer called DHEP from cosmetic products. Look at that, man. But they're still in there. Exposed to all types of phthalate plasticizers has been associated with low birth weight, endometriosis, decreased testosterone, ADHD, type 2 diabetes, and breast and uterine cancer. Clown world. Look at that, guys. Don't date nail techs. I guarantee, guys, this is built up in their system. Right, guys? So if you smash, you're getting exposed. If you're in her car, if you're around her, 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 her clothes, if you touch her skin, her hair, you're getting exposed too. You guys see, did I say decrease in, in testosterone? No way. Guys, avoid these chicks like the plague. So, all right, you guys, this is AJ. I appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, guys. If you're on YouTube, Check me out on Crumble. If you're on Crumble, check me out on YouTube. I'm out of here, guys.